Welcome back to my channel. Um, last week we did um, one on creating uh, user programs. And, and we did, um, actually, just we simply did two, but I showed you how to save them um, into the register. So uh, for register one, we had, uh, it was basically, um, I was doing the song, um, Happy Days Are Here Again, and, and we did uh, kind of a musette tuning. And we saved that in user program 1A. In 1B, we did the same thing, except we added a dual to it. So we actually added an orchestra, and we added some drums, um, which were not in 1A. Now, I want to do two things in, in this week's show. One is... I want to show you how to edit a set you already have. And so, so uh, what I'm going to do here for this one, I was doing um, Happy Days Are Here Again. And in 1A, I had or orchestral on the bass side. And when I switched to 1B, I kept the orchestral. Right? Made it a little hard to, to hear the difference. So in this one, I'm actually going to edit 1A and put it back to accordion sounds and show you how to save that in that same position. So instead of going through any of the changes, um, we're going to simply edit that one user program. Okay, that's the first thing I want to do. The second thing is I want to show you how to, you can edit slash and or move from one user program to another. So if you're doing something and you want to move it and simply overwrite it. So that's really what I want to do with this is, is kind of show you how to do those items. All right. So uh, let's get, let's get started. Um, with that, I'm going to uh, actually change to bring the camera down so we can actually see what I'm doing on 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 the keyboard here. Okay, so we're going to go from being powered off. So I'm just going to power the accordion on, and so you'd see that there was no sleight of hand in doing it. So the accordion's back up, typical startup. So I'm going to hit user program and then I'm going to select 1A. So there's 1A. So that's just that. But we want to turn that off. Okay. So the way you do that is you're going to hold the user program button uh, two, three seconds and, and you'll see that it flashes. Okay. So the user program on the top is flashing. That little dot is flashing. And it's still everything we have. So what I want to do is turn off the uh, orchestral break bass. So, so now I have that, but I still have everything that I want, had before on the treble side. All right, so I've made the edit, and all that's happening up here, you can still see the numbers coming across. We went over how to read that. There's a user program light, and it's flashing. We've just made the changes that we want. We want to now save that. And this is kind of where it's kind of, what we're going to do next is going to kind of fold right into this. But we're going to hold the user program, and then it's going to be like U1A, because that's where I had saved this, is now flashing. Now, if I want to save that with, with that base, I simply hit set, because I want it in 1A. It's now saved. All right? So... When I come back, I'm going to kind of have the computer off, or computer, I'm going to have the accordion off. 
I'm going to bring it back up, you know, turn it back on, and we'll see if it has saved that in 1A. Right. I'm going to turn the accordion back on. It's coming up, FR1, and it now says 2, 2, 2. So everything is, is back. Now, let's go to user program. User program. And we're going to go to 1B so you can hear. So we've got that. It's in the dual mode. Okay. If I hit 1A, we have the accordion, bass, and chord, and still the treble. So that is how you edit a user program that you have here. Okay. Now I'm going to come back and show you how to move one from a different user program. Okay, in this case I'm going to want to take, uh, let's say something I have in 3A, user program 3A. So to get to that I hit user program and I go to 3A. So this is my 3A. So you can hear I've kind of got different drums going on in there. Um, and got an organ going and, and some other things there. Now that's in 3A. Now just to show you that I still have this in, in, in um, 1A. If I go to 1A, I still have the Okay, so what I want to do is I want to move I'm not happy with that at 3A, whatever, for whatever reason I want to put 3A up in position 1A So I want to show you how to do that So first, you're going to your sound that you want. Okay, so that's the 3A. I actually want that in position 1A. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit and hold. Now I'm in edit. So it's still there. I now hit and hold user program to get into um, the uh, editing mode. Now 3A, U3A is still flashing because that's the last one I was in. But now I can select a different one. I want it in 1A. So I'm going to pre press 1A. It's now in 1A. 1A is showing in the screen. When I hit the set button, that's now my new 1A. Alright, I'm going to turn the accordion off. We're going to come back in and we're going to see if 1A is that organ sound. Alright, so I'm just turning the accordion back on. Just came up FR1, 222. There we go. Hit user program. Okay. It's asking me which user program I want. Okay, and um, just to show you, I didn't I didn't destroy what was in 3A, so I haven't overwritten it. So I'm going to go to 3A. So here's 3A. So hopefully you can still hear the organ. You can still hear the drums. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to, that's 1A, I'm going to go to 1B, so you can see that Okay, so that's got the, the drums and the duel that we had before. But let's see what's in 1A. Now, hopefully you could hear um, the organ sounds are there. 
this is what I had in one, no, sorry, in 3A. So now you now know how to edit a sound set that you, no, sorry, not sound set, edit a user program that you have and also how to move a user program. Now that we have those all done, I want to say thank you uh, for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. If you would like something else explained, you know, please leave a comment. Um, and, and I'll try to get to it uh, when I can. So, anyway, thank you and enjoy.